this is Jared Collar for the Diggy Nation. Thanks for watching Mac Matters. Today, we're going to show you how to install not one, but two solid state drives in the optical bay of your Mac Pro. Why? Well, record audio or video, you'll have four drives that you can strike, make a raid, have backup, scratch discs, whatever you like. Come along with us, it's not that hard. We're going to show you how to do it. One of the most important things is having the right tools. How many times have you stripped a screw using a screwdriver that was just not meant for nope. electronics? Well, don't do it. Go to Radio Shack, go online, buy yourself a proper electronics toolkit. Most importantly, for this job, you're going to need what is called a P0. Sounds complicated, but it's simply just a Phillips head size zero. And that seems to be the standard size of the screws in most electronics. Begin by removing the side door of your Mac Pro. Make sure that the lock on the side of your Mac is unlocked and remove all four drives. Immediately to the left of the PCI slots at the top of the logic board you will see this Phillips screw using a Phillips P0 screwdriver, remove it. I happen to have Pro Tools HD, which requires a couple of cards that you may or may not have. So if you are a little confused by this, don't worry. If you have these cards, remove them now before the next step. If not, proceed as follows. With all the cards removed, remove the cover over the processor. Remove the Phillips screw from the base of the fan assembly located at the bottom left of the processor heatsink. Tug and pull the entire fan assembly out of the computer. It attaches to the logic board via a connector that you don't need to worry about disconnecting. It's a pressure fit. Now that you have fully exposed the logic board, look for the two SATA ports. Insert the L-shaped SATA cable into the top SATA port. Insert the straight SATA cable into the bottom SATA port. Grasp the optical bays with your fingers and pull straight out. The drive carrier may require a bit of shaking to dislodge from its mounts, but will come right out. Disconnect the power and ATA cables from the back of the existing optical drive and set the carrier on a work surface in front of you. Here's a top tip. Now that your computer is apart, use a little canned air to blow off some of the dust. Cool. Start routing the SATA cables that you already attached to the logic board up through the corner of the optical bay following the existing wires. Here you see the proper routing of the SATA cables behind drive trays number one logic board connector. Make very sure that you have the cable all the way tucked in behind the connector. So today we're actually installing not one, but two solid state drives in the optical drive bay. Now each drive, like so, comes with a universal drive adapter, like so. And we're simply going to mount the drives to the drive adapter. So here we have our two solid state drives mounted in their universal drive adapters. Now we're going to put both of these drives in our OWC optical drive bay adapter. So now after we installed the solid state drives in the OWC drive mount adapter. Remember the optical drive bay we pulled out? Yes. Now they come together. Uh, another top tip. Apple was kind enough to give you another four mounting screws located right on the optical drive bay. We are going to take our fully assembled solid state drive assembly and slip it into here 
and using the provided screws, we'll secure it into place. Once you have the OWC multi-mount in place, attach the SATA cables and use the SATA power Y cable to split the existing power cable to two separate SATA power connections and attach them to the drives. Next, attach the SATA cables and finally replace the ATA cable in the top optical drive. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now all I have to do is put my Pro Tools cards and my video card back in the computer and we're going to boot it up and see how we did. Hey, well thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too difficult. If you have the right tools, the performance gains you're going to get obviously outweigh any time it takes. I want to thank Poker for computing and of course Robin, our cameraman, director, and this is Jared Cobbler for the Nation saying thanks for watching.